I shaved the beard, sorry mate. I look like a hobo, man. I had to shave it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, I'm the promoter of Insane Championship Wrestling. Thanks for coming out and supporting our first show in Edinburgh. And if you like what you see, and tell your pals, and we'll come back to Edinburgh as much as we fucking can, because we want to do that, all right, guys? So, now we've got a contract signing between two ex-best friends. Simmer down, guys. They've got, um, <laughs> Kelly, I said simmer down there, like, fuck's sake. Um, now, listen, guys, we've got a contract signing now between two ex-best friends, I guess you could call them. Um, BT got appeared in the square go, but it wasn't under contract. He would only sign a one-day contract uh, to get his hands in Renfrew. Um, so we'll try to sign a match tonight for March 3rd at the garage. Tickets are on sale at the back, on sale at Ticketmaster, Ticket Scotland. If you, you need to get to the shop where it's called, you need to come to an ICW show at the garage, they're fucking banging. And um, uh, first of all, we're going to bring out um, Chris Renfrew. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the controversial, this is, well this is the contract signing for perhaps the most anticipated, one of the most anticipated matches in ICW's history. Two former best friends, two allies, two brothers, now come bitter, bitter enemies. Chris Renfrew, the ICW icon, six foot three of pure mayhem. And he is here to not only sign a contract, for these two to face each other for the first time in ICW's history. But he's also here to look the man in the eyes. We saw these two finally exchange blows at the square goal. What an exchange of blows it was, but again, you can see an increased the... security presence in the ring here. When the contract is signed, when the contract is signed, it also states that they can't touch each other. Until the match on March 3rd at the garage. We know PT Gun because we had to keep separated PT all Gun. day. Don't worry, Billy. I anticipate this will be nothing less than a legal documentation signing, and everyone can go home happy. I know that PT Gun is in the belt. I know that he's here. I know that when I spoke about Dallas earlier, he said he's in the building. I can't tell you where he is. For not only his own safety, but for our own safety. Because this man is a changed animal. Since losing the title, he has become, I mean, I, I said Chris Renfrew is 6 foot 3 of pure mayhem. This man is with chaos. Take away the psychosis of the future DC Gun for a long time carried this company on his back. Many people said it was his standard for Bonzi as the heavyweight champion that put ICW on the map on the big thing. It's other companies up and down the country. He has held the SWA Championship, the BCW Championship, the BCW Championship. He has done it all. And, but with this new, almost unhinged nature, what is this man capable of, Billy? What's he able to hold scissors to men's neck? You know something? This is a very interesting point of view. Chris Renfrew off, always comes dressed to fight. This is just a contract signing. Yes, he's a table, and they always terrify me at contract signing. But BT Gun has his wrestling gear on. Sometimes that speaks louder than what's Billy. To be honest, I think he'd have the match right now. Security are in there, count them. All right guys, first I'm going to give the, I'm just the mediator here, I'm going to give the microphone to you, Chris Renfrew. There's a very uneasy attitude. Let's hear from the ICW, hardcore icon. I'll give you all a quick recap. If you're new to ICW, back in 2009, my debut match, you were in the ring getting your cunt kicked in. Yeah. That live heart and red lining. And I had your back. And from that day forth, for four fucking years in this company, I've had your back. And four months ago, you decided that wasn't good enough. You decided to cost me the fucking ICW title, didn't you? Renfrew's first ever opportunity now, as well. I've swore to Dallas I'm gonna haunt my temple tonight. Right? I'm gonna wait till March 3rd. I just wanna know, man. You're my best fucking mate. Why? 
why we got to this point I'm ready to sign our lives away to rip your fucking throat out in Mark's third. Why? Answer me. To at least I fucking deserve. Give me an answer. It's the question on everyone's mind. Are we finally gonna hear from BT Gun? He has yet to speak. He's speaking, but we can't hear him. The fuck does that mean? I'm not gonna hang about too long, because I genuinely, if I stay looking at this fucking asshole any longer, I'm gonna punch his cunt in right now. So give me, just let me sign it. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, once this paper is signed, these two men cannot touch each other until get to the chopper and march them. Chris Renfrew has signed on the dotted line. See, everything's going smoothly so far. It's just a nice legal procedure. But you know something, BT Gunn is going to draw this out. He's going to enjoy his moment in the spotlight, savouring every second of this. But again, a sign of that sickness. He's, it looks like he is actually going to sign. Like I say, I saw that document earlier. It is a legally binding, that is a contract. And Mark Dallas has even put up extra money. I believe BT Gunn is now signed. The, the match is signed, guys. It is happening. The match is signed. Finally, Chris Renfrew versus BT Gunn. We're going to see it. Is Renfrew leaving. Renfrew leaving the ring. Renfrew's away. Oh. Renfrew's away, and there has been. Thus far, no chaos in the ring. My God, we're actually Billy. seeing a contract oh, signing yeah. that uh, has gone exactly. BT Guns, no signed it. Oh, Dallas, get out of the ring. Dallas, get out of the ring. He's left Dallas. There's no, there's no other. Ref. He's got scissors in his hand. So, somebody help him. That's somebody the, help that's Dallas. The promoter. Oh, oh my God. Scissors to the... Quick, come on. Okay, the security are here to stop any physical altercations, but that does not include weapons. That man has a lethal weapon in his hand, and, and Chris, Chris Renfrew is now cut open. And now he's Just beating that wound. It. He's bit, what is going on? He is biting and tearing and clawing at that wound. BT Gun did not sign the contract. So this match is still not happening. He's bringing the scissors There's back to the face of Chris Renfrew. Someone has to get. We need more security out here. Oh my God! What has happened look to at, BT Gun? Look at the demented grin on BT Gun's face. Oh. BT, BT, leave him alone. I don't think that's going to work, That BT. table's not going to work. But thankfully, it is a distraction. It is a distraction to give Chris... Maybe Chris can... Oh! oh! Look at the face, the blood dripping down the face of Chris Renfrew. He's wearing the crimson mask. And look at that demented grin on Peter Gunn. He's not finished. He's, not done. He's still not finished. What, guys, get... Get, someone get him off of Chris He's Renfrew. He's still punishing. I think we need some wrestlers out here. We need some security. He doesn't... If anyone, oh can God. if anyone can hear me, please get someone out to help this man. He has been stabbed and beaten. Just help him. It looks like finally the security, security are going finally. to rush the ring. Chris, Ren Chris Renfrew is unconscious, Bill. He he's gone. BT Gun is, is not actually under contract with ICW. They're very limited in what we can do. I th I th security, I think we need police out here. I think we need an ambulance out here. Just... Just get, get Chris out of the ring. Just just get him out. Renfrew's head looks like a giant Tessie's gusset on that day of the month. It's running with blood. It's not a laughing matter. Oh! Chris Renfrew never want to be helped out of a ring. Oh my God. Chris, just let them help you. Do you know something? I have seen Renfrew in some hardcore matches. Some of, at ringside, some of the fans' faces have gone chalk white. Oh my God, did you see the blood? It's dripping from the face. But Billy, Chris said a couple of weeks ago on the radio, I'm the ICW icon that's never bled. 
Well, you know yeah. something, that's what I was just about to say. I've seen him in some hardcore, I've seen him in street fights. I've seen him in intense brawls, but I've never once seen anyone bust open Chris Renfrew. Do you know something? On this night, he's managed to get, he's managed to get, BT Gun has managed to yeah. get maybe the better of Chris Renfrew, but do you know something? With that blood, he might have opened Aladdin's, he might have opened Pandora's box, and inside is a demon, and his name is Chris Renfrew. I think what's more telling, Chris Renfrew walked from this building, but he didn't want help. It is going to take more than that to put down Chris Renfrew, and that frightens me, Billy. What more can you do to a man? Well, you know something. Uh, like I say, he's not only looking for a BT gun; he's looking for anyone. Has has the sleeping giant finally been awoken? He's tried to be passive about it. He's tried to be friendly about it. Even tonight, just before they were signing the contract, he looked him in the eyes and went, we are best friends. He said, we are best friends. Chris Renfrew did not want this. I mean, he is, he's a violent man, but the New Age click, you can see the t-shirts all through the crowd. They were so close, closer than most brothers. He did not want this. He still does not want this. Well, you know something? It might finally be time 